Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'll be fine. This is Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 6 and we have started chapter number 2. We are done with exercise 2.1 and 2.2. Now we are going to do 2.3 in which we are going to learn about the common multiples and factors. So let's start from exercise 2.3 question number 1 which says that write the numbers in the correct places. We are provided with a Venn diagram. This diagram is called a Venn diagram where we have three circles each for a uh, different multiple. So we have to write down the multiples of three in the uh, two in the first circle, multiples of three in the second circle and then multiples of five in the third circle. But there is a twist in the question. So it says that write the numbers in the correct places on a copy of the Venn diagram. When we talk about five, 5 is only a multiple of 5. So we can write it anywhere in the circle but not in these parts. The overlapping parts. These are called the overlapping parts because this part is also included in multiples of 2 and also included in multiples of 5. This part is included. Okay, let's talk about the parts first. When we talk about the part, this part of the circle, it only includes the multiples of 2. Similarly, this part Okay, this part only includes the multiples of 3 and similarly this part only includes the multiples of 5. But what about these parts that are overlapping? So this part includes the multiples of 2 and that of multiple of 5. Similarly, this part includes the multiples of 3 and that of 5. Similarly, this part includes the multiples of 3 and that of 2. But what about this part? This part includes the multiples of all of the three numbers. So we have to write down them in the correct box, in the correct uh, place. So if we talk about 5, 5 is only multiple of 5. So we are going to write it over here. We are not going to write it in the overlapping parts. Right? And when we talk about 14, so 14 is a multiple of 2, but not of 3 and not of 5. So we are going to only write it in the non-overlapping part of multiples of 2. Then 15. When we talk about 15, 15 is not a multiple of 2. But it's a common multiple of 3 and 5. So we are not going to write it in the column of 5 only or that of 3 only. We are going to write in the overlapping part between 3 and 5 which is this part. So it means we are going to write it over here. Why? Because 15 is a multiple of 5 and that of multiple of 3. So here comes 15. Then comes 18. 18 is a multiple of 2 because it's an even number. It's a multiple of 3 because it comes in the table of 3. But it's not, uh, it's not divisible by 5. So we are going to write it between the uh, overlapping part of 2 and 3. That is over here. Here comes 18. Then 20. So 20 is a common uh, multiple of 2 and 5 because 2 tens are 20 and 5 fours are 20. But not 20 is not divisible by 3. So we are going to write it in the overlapping part of 2 and 5. That is over here. Then comes 21. 21 is not divisible by 2 or by 5, but only divisible by 3. So we are going to write it over here. Then comes 24. 24 is even. It's a multiple of 2. It comes in the table of 3, so it is multiple of uh, 3 as well. But it's not a multiple of 5. So we are going to write it over here. 24. Okay. Then comes 29. 29 is not a multiple of either of them. That is, it's not because 29 is... Uh, prime number so we are going to write it down outside of the three circles that is you can write it over here okay then comes 30 30 is an even number it's a multiple of 3 3 tens are 30 and there are 5 as well so 30 will come over here in the middle because this overlapping part includes the multiples of 3 that of uh, 2 and that of 5 as well Similarly, 60 is a multiple of 2, 3, and 5 all. So we are going to write it over here. You see? So some of the numbers comes in the multiples of 3. Some comes in the multiples of uh, 2. This is multiple of 2 and that of 5. And then some comes in between 2 and 5. Some comes in between 2 and uh, 3 and 5. And some between 2 and 3. And then two of the numbers are the multiples of all of them. So which numbers are common multiples of 2, 3, and 5? It's 30 and 60. Okay, here comes question number two on page number 32, which says the number in the sequence increase by three each time. So you can see it's three, six, nine, twelve. It, all these numbers are multiples of three. So we can continue with it. And we are going to write uh, it, it as uh, 
Okay. Then they're saying the number in this sequence increases by 5 each time. So it's 5, 10, 15, and 20. Here is the table of 5. Both sequences continue. That is, they are continued further. So you can write the numbers over here as 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, and so on. Similarly, this one is 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and so on, okay? They're saying write a number bigger than 100, which is in both sequences. So, student, instead of writing the tables uh, exceeding 100, what we can do is we can simply try to figure out that what is the first common multiple of 3 and 5? <clears throat> so the common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15 okay what are we going to do the next multiple that is common of 3 and 5 would be a multiple of 15 you see so it would be 15 twos are 30 so you will find that 30 would be the second common multiple of 3 and 5 so if I ask you what would be the third common multiple of 3 and 5 it would be 15 threes are 45 let me show you that the third common multiple would be wait here comes 39 then 42 and then 45 and here we already have 45 so you can see that 45 is the next common multiple you see and if it continues so we are going to get the number that is bigger than 100 and a common multiple of uh, 3 and 5 would be 15 twos are 30 15 uh, threes are 45 15 fours are 60 let us write down the common multiple 15 fours are 60 15 fives are 75 15 six are 90 and 15 sevens are 105 here comes a three digit number bigger than 100 and it is both the multiple of 3 and 5 so what I did instead of writing the sequences continue the sequence until 105 because uh, for doing that i need to write down so many numbers and that's pretty uh, pretty hectic so instead of doing that i just figured out what's the common multiple of three and five and after that i just uh, jot down the multiples of 15 and when i got the multiple in three digits i got that the uh, bigger number 100 which is in both sequences would be 105 that's all so from this one we can conclude that it includes all the multiples of 15 that are bigger than 100. Then question number 3 says write all the common multiples of 3 and 8 that are less than 50. For this what are we going to do? We are going to jot down the common multiples of 3 and 8. For 3 uh, they are already given. Let us write down the common multiples of 8 until 5, 50. So it would be 8, 16, 8 3s are 24, 8 4s are 36, uh, sorry 8 4s are 32. 8 5s are 40, 8 6 are 48. So among these 6 numbers, you will find that we have only 24 and 48, a common multiple of 3 and 8. You see, here it is. 24 and 48. So it's just 24 and 44 that are common multiples of uh, 3 and 8 and you can see that 3 8s are 24 and all the multiples of 24 would be the common multiples of 3 and 8 now simple then they're saying Olivia and Amir play football regularly Olivia plays once every four days Amir plays once every three days it means every four days means fourth day of if she plays on the fourth day then she'll play on eighth day then on 12th then on 16th and then on 28th so on a multiples of four and uh, Amir plays every three days so on the third day then sixth day then ninth then twelfth then fifteenth and then eighteenth and then so on so if they both play football today how many times in the next fortnight will they play on the same day so we are gonna find the common multiple of three and four which is twelve okay so since 12 is a common multiple so they are gonna play football on the 12th day both of them will play on the 12th day you can see both of them are playing on the 12th day and then uh, it's only once in a fortnight fortnight means in 14 days okay so in the next 14 days they are gonna play football together only once okay 
this would be the answer next we have question number five Achha, they are asking us are you using common multiples or common factors in your answer so we are using common multiples not common factors okay write the factor of 18 so we have to write down the factors of 18 now we have to talk about the factors factors are the numbers that divides a number completely so we are going to make pair factors for that what are the pair factors of 18 1 times 18 2 times 9 3 times 6 and no more so these are the six factors of 18 that is 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 okay every number has one as its factor the smallest one and itself as the largest factor okay then we have to write down the factors of 24 so it would be 1 times 24 2 times 12 3 times 8 4 times 6 and none so there are 8 factors of 24 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 and 24 now we have to draw a ring around the common factor. So what are the common factors out of it? It's 1, 2, 3, 4 is not a common factor, then 6, and then none. So there are 4 common factors of 18 and 24. Okay? Then they are saying write all the factors of 30 that are also factors of 20. So we have to find out the factors of 20 first and that of 30. So it would be 1 into 20, then 2 into 10, and then 4 times 5. So the common factors of uh, uh, the, the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And that of 30 are 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and then 5 times 6. It has 8 factors. So what are the common factors? It's 1, 2, and then 4, 3, 5 are not common. And then comes 5, and then 10. So the common factors of 20 and 30 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay? We can write it over here. 1, 2, 5, and 10 are the common factors of 20 and 30. Then they are saying, Perry gives 32 ball cards to his friends. He shares them equally, so all his friends have the same amount. How many friends could Perry have? Explain your answer. Okay, so according to the number of cards he has, he could have, if he is sharing it uh, among his friends equally, so he could have 1 into 32. That is, he could have 32 friends, and he is sharing 1 among all. Or he could have 2 multiplied by 16. So he could have 2 friends and he is giving 16 cards to each of them. Or then he could have 4 friends giving 8 to each of them. Okay. So 4 8s are 32. And then he could have uh, 5, 6, uh, 7. No. So he could have a single friend giving all 32 to it. Or 2 friends giving 16 to each of them. Then 4 friends giving 8 cards to each of them. And then 8 friends giving 4 cards to each of them. Or 16 friends giving 2 cards to each of them. Or then 32 friends giving 1 card to each of them. So Peary shares the cards equally to any factors of 32. Could be the number of friends. The factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. That's the final answer. Next we have question number 8. Isabella has three digit cards, one, five, and six. Which two cards could she use to make a common multiple of five and 13? So we have to figure out that what could be the common multiple of five and 13 using only two of two uh, cards of uh, them. So let's find out some of the common multiples of five. That is uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and let's write a few more, 65, and then 70, okay? So these are some of the factors of 5, okay? And then let's write some of the fact, uh, multiples of 13. So 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, and so on. So if we look at uh, the first common multiple of 5 and 13, 
it's 65 and you can see that yes we have these two digits among these cards so the common multiple of 5 and 30 using these two cards would be 65 okay and then they are saying a common factor of 60 and 90 so for this we have to figure out that what would be the common factor of 60 90 so let's write down on the common factors of 60 that is uh, the common factors of 60 would be 1 into 60 2 into 30 and then 3 into 20 and then 4 into 15 so let's figure out that are we having any of the factors in 90 as well so 1 into 90 2 into 45 3 into 30 and then uh, 90 comes in the table of 4 so no and then 5 times 18 okay and then comes 6 time 6 times 90 and 15 15 6 are so if you look at these numbers you will find that out of these numbers if we talk about the two digit number 15 20 30 and 60 out of these numbers 15 is a number that is a common factor of 60 and 90 and also you will find that these two digits are present over here in the cards so we can say that yes 15 is a number that is both a factor of 60 and 90 and is present with Isabella Isabella has uh, these two cards with her so it means a common multiple of 5 and 30 would be 65 among three cards and a common factor of 60 and 90 would be 15 so here we have completed exercise 2.3 i hope students it's now clear to you still if you have any sort of questions you can ask me in the comment section or you can contact me on my whatsapp take care don't forget to share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new allah hafiz